An online Good Samaritan challenge prompted two local brothers to offer free lawn mowing services to people who can't easily do it themselves, like senior citizens or those with disabilities. Now the nationwide challenge organizer is headed to Metro Detroit to recognize their efforts. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shantz has the story for us from Westland. Brothers Sam and Hunter in Westland have mowed 51 lawns for free since April. Now, most people hate a chore like this, especially on a hot day like this one. But Sam, he loves it. So helping out his community through this challenge was a no brainer. You get the feeling that we're helping people that really can't help their own selves. It all started with the 50 yard challenge from Rodney Smith Jr., founder of Raising Men Lawn Care Service. So back in 2015, I I came across an elderly man outside mowing his lawn. It looked like he was struggling, so I pulled over and helped him out. And that night, I really, I decided I'll start mowing free lawn for the elderly, disabled, single parents, and veterans in Huntsville, Alabama. So he turned his good deed into a nonprofit and challenges young people from around the country through social media to mow 50 lawns in their community for those who need some help and to do it for free. They get prizes along the way, and once they hit 50 lawns, Rodney hits the road. He's making his way to Michigan today to offer Hunter and Sam not only a thanks, but also a lawnmower, a weed whacker, and a blower. Sam and Hunter's parents follow Rodney on social media and put the word out that their boys were in. It didn't take long before they were getting requests. A lot of neighbors actually were advocating for neighbors that they had that knew they couldn't do it. So it was really cool to see the amount of community that came out. And through that, the boys have actually made what we think are going to be long lasting relationships with some of these people that don't have contact with the outside world. 50 other kids from around the country have also completed the challenge and about a thousand are in the process of doing it now. It's just great, like especially when things kind of hit like a lot of the activities they weren't able to do anymore. We couldn't play baseball. We couldn't go out to school. We couldn't have activities to actually do. And the boys say they're not just giving, they're getting too. It's heartwarming. We just get to meet nice people that just really want to have connections with other people and they just can't really go anywhere. They appreciate what we do and I have those people for friends ever, like ever and ever. The 50 yard challenge may be over for the boys, but they're not through helping their community. Their mom says come winter, they'll be offering snow blowing services to people who need it free of charge. In Westland, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News. Wow, with so much bad news, we needed a bit of good news on this Friday. Great going, guys. All right.